Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint a Dead School Orc for Warhammer 40k. This tutorial has more colors than usual, but it's fun to paint and the end result is worth it. If you feel it's too long, you can drop the highlights and just highlight the skin. And with that you have a quick, very good looking scheme for Dead School Orcs. This color scheme uses a lighter blue color on the skin tone to differentiate between armor plates and skin tone. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay after the video to learn how you can support my channel. I'm going to start by priming the model with Rust-Oleum Automotive Gray Primer. You can use any primer that you like, and this is a cheap one, so if you're going to use it, use it very lightly. And also I'm going to use Liquitex Slow Dry Fluid Retarder to mix with my paints and thin them down. I'm going to start by using Wa Flesh to base coat all of the skin tone around the model. If you already know which parts are going to be blue, uh, you can leave them alone. I didn't know at the start of the, this video, so I just base coated everything to make sure. And uh, this color is thinned down a little bit with the uh, liquid fluid retarder from Liquitex. And uh, it's a good extender so that you can work with your paint a little longer than usual, if you, especially if you live in some place that is very dry and hot. Next, I'm going to use Calendar Sky with a detail brush. I'm going to color a uh, straight line across the face and paint the left side of its face. And also I'm going to paint the right side of its of his body on blue. I'm kind of alternating the skin the skin tones like this so that no matter which angle you're looking at the model you see a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. Next I'm going to use black from Vallejo Model Color and with this color I'm going to paint the shirt. It doesn't matter which color you choose to paint the clothes you can use brown on the shirt and on the uh, gloves or whatever you like but most of the artworks use a different arrangement of brown tones and black and uh, you can switch them around you can paint them gray as well but try to choose three colors one for the leather and two for the pants and the shirt and switch them around your armies to keep the paint job consistent next I'm going to use Steel Legion Drab as the color of the pants and as well as all of the other colors I'm going to thin it down a little bit with the drying retarder that I chose and just try to give it a solid coat all of these steps is just giving good coats to the parts around the miniature I'm using a size 2 Kolinsky brush to base coat all of these areas and next I'm going to choose Mornfang Brown for the leather around the model and the boots. Next, I'm going to use Lead Belcher, and with this color, I'm going to base coat all of the silver parts around the model. Be careful to have a good tip on your brush so that you don't paint over any areas that you don't want to. You can drag the brush on your palette and spin it so that it forms the tip and try not to paint on other areas that you already painted. If you mess up, you can just uh, clean up with the previous color. Next, I'm going to use Sandry Dust to base coat all of the teeth around the model. I'm using here a fine detail brush to be very careful and not to paint on the whole thing just base coat the teeth from above and leave the recesses on the dark color 
and I'm going to start by washing the skin with bile tan green once all of the colors are dry and I went over the whole thing I went over the blues as well just to give it a washed effect like the paint on the skin is washing away a little bit on the recesses and it looks a little bit more green and on the rest of the bottle I'm going to use Acrex Earthshade just give it a good mop around the model and leave the wash get on the recesses. And that's it. It doesn't matter if you use a little bit too much. Uh, this orc is supposed to be dirty and battle worn. Next, I'm going to start with my crack blue and paint it on the armor plates around the model. This model doesn't have much of it, so I just chose to use it on the gun and the gun didn't have any recesses so it didn't need any wash but if you find that you're using it on an armor plate and a model that has complicated armor plates you still have to wash it with Drakenhof Nashade or, or you can use the Acrex Earthshade here I'm using Necron Compound and with this color I am going to dry brush the gun and metallic parts around the model. Being very careful not to paint on the other stuff, but if you do, it's okay because we can clean up. The first highlight for the skin is going to be Warbus Green, and with this color we're trying to cover the whole skin area again, just leaving the deepest recesses on the previous color, like around the contours of the face, like the features, you can see, you can leave a little bit of the uh, darker green around that on uh, the scar on the face just don't paint uh, towards the bottom of that scar and uh, try to avoid all of the details and build up the highlight on the rest of the skin tone next scar snake green with this color I'm going to give it a second highlight to the skin but this time I'm going to be a little bit more careful and just paint on the the edges of the muscle structure and on the top parts where light hits directly and I'm kinda taking my time but you can do it a little bit faster and and dirtier if you like but if you want it to look very very clean you have to be a little bit more careful and the slow dry uh, liquid retarder that I'm using helps a lot when doing edge highlights and stuff like that so it gives you a little bit more time to work with the paint next I'm going to use Hoeth blue and with this color I'm going to highlight the skin tone that it's blue around the model this is where the skin tone turns a little bit lighter and if you don't like it you can highlight again with Calidar Sky and that'll give you a more darker blue that maybe you'd like if you don't like this uh, kind of Sinchian demon kind of uh, blue skin and also this color the Hoet blue is going to be used on the edges of the Macrack blue on the armor plates Next, Fenrisian Grey is going to be used as a finer edge highlight on the blue skin. If you chose to make it as a darker blue, you can uh, use the Hoet Blue to highlight the skin. And also it's going to go as a finer edge highlight on the armor plates. Next, I'm going to clean up the pants with Steel Legion Drab. And this is just a cleanup step, just leaving the previous color on the recesses. 
and try to cover the whole thing with steel gym draft again just being very careful on the edges and where the cloth folds and I'm going to use Bane Blade Brown to pick up the sharpest edges around the pants and give it a little highlight like this Next, I'm going to use Scrack Brown to start highlighting the leather. And again with the size 2 Kalinsky brush, if you have a good tip, you can use this brush to clean up these places. Just leave the deepest recesses on the previous color and try to cover most of the whole thing. And uh, that's it. And as a second edge highlight, the brightest extreme highlight, I'm going to use Deathclaw Brown. And this color is just going to focus on the edges and places that are most exposed to light. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but it looks good if you do it. Next, Skaven Black Dinch is going to be an edge highlight for the black. Black usually doesn't need any highlight and I don't highlight black when I'm doing my tabletop standard. Which is not tabletop, it's a good standard. But uh, if you don't want to, you can skip the highlights on the black. But I do like to use Skaven Black Dinch to make it pop a little bit more. Next, Storm Vermin Fur. It's going to be a lighter edge highlight. We'll just focus on the very edges and leaving a little bit on of the other showing. It's a finer edge highlight on the blacks. Next, I'm going to paint the teeth. For that, I'm using Ushapti Bone. And we are trying to just cover the, most of the thing, leaving a little bit of the previous color on the recesses or the top of the teeth. And with Screaming Skull, we're touching up the very uh, sharpest edges on the teeth. So focusing towards the tips of each of the teeth. And to finish it off, I'm going to use Wild Rider Red to paint the eye of the model. The other eye seems to have lo been lost for that wound that it has on the face, so I didn't paint it. So here is the end result of this tutorial. I'm very happy with the way this model looks. This model didn't have any armor on its body to paint blue to identify him as a dead school, but I hope you like the skin tone that I came up with. If you would like me to make a darker blue scheme for Dead School, please tell me in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, comment and subscribe to see more videos and if you can, share it with your friends. Your support is greatly appreciated and if you would like to further support my channel, you can stay after the video to learn how. Leave any comments and questions in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook if you would like to talk to me and see what I'm doing. You can find the links on the description below. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. 
You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.